Hello Internet World. Uh, gangsta. This is uh, Motley Bird Customs. We have the uh, A5P90 here. I already removed the magazine for you guys already. But uh, what I'm going to be showing you is uh, how to disassemble the marker that we make here. Okay, so uh, first what you're going to need is uh, a Phillips head screwdriver, basic Phillips head screwdriver. That's all. You're most likely going to need that. And you're going to need uh, a flathead screwdriver. So you're going to need those two things. Uh, what else are you going to need? That's about it. Yeah. So first off, on the back here, flip it around for you guys. Uh, oh, and by the way, this is my personal barrel. When we get inside, I'm gonna show you how to hook this, how I did this, whatever it is. They don't come standard with the this is the Apex Two uh, barrel. You can see the little thing there to put the swing on the ball. Uh, this is the Apex Two barrel. Uh, it doesn't quite fit alone, so you have to get an extender in here. I'll show you when we get in there, but uh, that's mine. Yeah, it comes with the stock barrel. The stock barrel comes up to about this far. I think it's eight inches on the stock barrel. It comes out to this far, and then you can replace it or whatever. Uh, also, these are our new 3D printed triggers here. Uh, one out of two designs currently. There's more on the way, so that doesn't come standard with the gun. But uh, everything else here, and this model is the E triggered model. You can see here the board controls here, right? Gangster. Uh, I have them out here. I have it close to here so you don't have to use a button. You can just press it and it turns on with your finger. Hold it three seconds and it turns off. Uh, that's all in the back, the back hatch. Open that up here. And uh, your batteries inside, all of that slide thing there close it okay so uh, there will be a magazine on here I don't have the magazine I took it off I uh, don't need to get it it's not really relevant uh, so the magazine there will be a screw here that you would uh, take out of the magazine with the Phillips head you unscrew that and then you just flip that up and uh, remove that that would be the first step to taking this gun apart right second of all is this little clip here on the airsoft body this little clip here is actually holding the Top piece of together, top piece of the gun together. So you just want to remove that. You just slide this under here like so. Just be very gentle with this. You don't really want, since it's handmade, custom, one of a kind sort of stuff you're dealing with here with this gun. You don't really want to be too rough and damage yourself. Then send it back to us and call me and email me like, yo, I broke my stuff. I need a replacement. Which of course I'll replace free replacement on any parts that I can really replace besides the board. I can't really replace the board for you. Uh, we'll talk it out, I'll figure out what I can do to help you, but just be gentle with this stuff. So you're going to come in here with the flat head, and you're going to lift this over this ridge here like that, right? Uh, you do one side at a time, so I get it to like this point, and then I'll flip it around, like so, and then I'll do this side here right there, right? I'll do it for you right here. Just be gentle, and then slide that forward like that and take it off right so we got that off that's the first piece done right flip it back on this side like so and you have the rest of these silver screws right there's also a bracket piece that goes here for extra accessory mounts that's here uh, I don't have it on this one but uh, you'll take that off too so take that off first one then you slowly work your way around the whole thing and take everything apart uh, so there's one uh, the screws, you probably won't need to take them out all the time, like take them all the way completely out of the gun. You'll see that one's kind of in there. It's alright, just loosen it so that it separates from the two halves. And, uh, and plus that helps with you not misplacing any of the screws too. Uh, I have a regular Phillips head, so this takes a little bit of time. My hand drill is actually out of battery, so... But you know, I'll fast forward it for the video, for video's sake. You know, you guys want to watch me take indi every individual one out. But I do this quite a lot, so it's pretty fast. If, let's say you wanted to just change the barrel, right? Uh, the barrel is actually 
um, keeping part of this trigger down. So if you wanted to unscrew the barrel, you could, but just be aware that you would have to keep this down and seated inside all the grooves that is here so that it doesn't misplace. If it does misplace, then you'll have to either try to figure to get it back in there or disassemble the gun. But uh, you can hold it down like that and unscrew your barrel and replace it and put the other one in. But just note, if the barrel width is like larger than the original stock barrel, you might need to sand the top of that trigger down in there just so that everything fits smooth and you got proper action when you slide this back and forth like that, you know? Uh, in certain places, like down here, uh, I actually put a smaller screw. Why? Because this this area doesn't need a larger screw and it can press through on the other side, like certain spots like here and here and uh, down here, they're actually smaller screws. So keep that in mind. That's in the manual. And yes, when you get when you buy this gun from us, you get a manual about all the little stuff inside and how to uh, take it apart so you know you're not lost. And I'm, I'm here. I'm doing them. Um, this is probably, I don't know, I think I'm in the 300s now of making this for people all around the world. I think I'm the only one doing it, and I'm the only one doing it hot. So if you want it done right, and you don't want to go and F up yourself and try to create it yourself, just get it done by me. I have the prices affordable and cheap, so that's it, you know. All right, so I think we got all the screws. There's this main screw here. You don't need to remove that just yet. Uh, oh, I can see. My bad. There's one more here. Bagels. Yeah, it's, I, I really like this gun. I've been working with this gun for so long, and I play with it. This is like, ah, oh, I love this thing. Um, is that everything? All right, one, two, three. Yeah, I think that's it. So, when you have it now, you're taking it. You want to hold it upright. So to add, I usually do this on my lap. So you want to hold it and slowly, gently separate the two halves. You know, don't pull too hard. Make sure everything is just wanting to separate. You know. So you separate that like this, like that, until you have this whole piece here that'll just come off. And then you just flip it down like that. There we go. Everybody wants to see that, right? The guts, you know? What are we dealing with here? All right, so we have the trigger. We have the switch on the trigger, the spring, uh, the safety selector. We have some extra wire there. We have the bottom hole here with the holes wrapped up inside there. And we have the hummingbird, the, the solenoid, everything that makes it work there. So the barrel, as you see this barrel, I have an extender piece in here to make this Apex 2 barrel work. It's slightly too short to rub up against that. So this is like a, they have those bore adapters, to, uh, I forgot what they call but the adapter to that you the insert that you put inside here to get your your bore size exactly to what size of paintball you're using the day or where it is. I think that's six, eight, seven. I don't know what the heck that is. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I don't know. I just know I'd size it up with whatever ball my normal field long live. Shout out to Long Live, uh, out here in New Jersey. Uh, whatever size ball they usually use and it fits snug so that the surface of the paintball shoots out all over. And then the Apex two you know, I just, I don't use two crazy settings, just a, like one click, two clicks on that, and I get my shots on point. Since it's like a CQB marker, I'm not really trying to get some long range, even though this thing can shoot just as good as any long range marker. It's just all dependent on the barrel. Yeah, so you take that apart like that. Uh, let's see. So take that off there have that like this now you can service everything in this marker without having to remove anything else this piece down here all the solenoids and stuff that we 3d print makes and all that stuff in-house you don't have to dismantle that at all you can leave that as it is and take everything off this side of the a5 completely off and change like the ball stop or you know oil it up or change the uh, what is it power tube or whatever the heck that thing is man and uh, everything inside there you can just take out. I'm gonna show you right now. So for this, you're gonna need you're gonna need the pliers, right? And what else? Yeah, 
pliers, and that's pretty much it. Right? Oh, and Allen keys. Where's our Allen keys? Oh, okay, that's not the right one. Yeah, so first you want to take off this piece right here, right? This is the, uh, this is, what is this? Yeah, this is the Allen key that, this is the screw that holds the cyclone feeder on the other side there. I think you can see that, right? Yeah, so you unscrew that, loosen that up. And you kind of want to keep the other half here because I, I try to keep all the stuff together in the package so you don't get all crazy and things. But you're welcome to take whatever part. It's your gun. Just uh, beware if you short some wires or something and everything like that. I'll try to help you, but uh, try to take care of your gun. All right. All right. So I take out that side. Oh, and if we're taking that, we got to unscrew this back again on that side. We have to take off that line. Sorry, it's upside down, but that line that goes to the recirculating valve, whatever that is, the flathead does that. Take that off with a flathead. All right. You can leave that on or you can take it off. But it doesn't matter. I take it off because it's, the balance is all messed up. When I have it on its side like this. Yeah, that's a paintball from the test firing. All the guns are test fired at least a couple times to make sure it's running good. So when it gets to you in your house, you ready to ball. So, yeah, I didn't notice earlier that I didn't have the bolt back in there when I disassembled this earlier. Uh, all right, so yeah, this is how it would be, all right? So, you don't need to remove any of that down there. What you're doing is you're just taking off this side of the gun. Move these stops, push pins. One, two. Also, when you're storing your gun, whatever, you want to make sure that you don't leave this cocked. Whatever. Uh, it puts a lot of pressure on the system. Everything back here is 3D printed. It's not going to break on you or nothing, but just you know, relieve the pressure. When you're done with, at the end of the day, make sure you get that last shot off to just relieve the spring tension and make sure that it's fully that way. And if you're disassembling it, also it makes it easier because if this was all the way cocked back here and I try to disassemble this thing, it will shoot out the side and you know, you don't want to lose anything that way. So we took off that piece and what we want to do is remove this screw here like that. There's a lot of pressure back here, see it's ready to blow, like this thing is crazy. Yeah. So actually I think it's so you have that, all of that in there. Don't lose any of your pieces. All that. This is to hold up the assembly in there, and it's just now. It's just the left side of this thing. We right? have one more here. I use the A5 because this gun is just built like steel, man. This thing, I love this gun. I used to, have, actually my second gun was a BT4 Combat. I don't know if anybody knows that. I think now it's a Vortex. They could call it Vortex Mac, that's something crazy. But, uh, yeah, that was my second gun. My first gun was some Walmart cheap gun that I had a blast with shooting out of car windows flying. But when I saw the A5, I said, that is the gun I want. Yeah, so you just remove the Allen keys like that. These Allen screws, make sure they're all nice and loose, even if they don't come up. Yeah, this gun is super reliable. I don't, you could throw this gun in the mud. You know? So yeah, you take that out there, and then you slowly move this half. Everybody knows that. If you know anything about this gun, you know that that's the simplest it can ever be. Just this here. You have your ball stop there, right? You have your power tube, you have your front, whatever the heck that is that shoots the ball. You got your bolt right here, you got the bolt assembly, you got the spring, everything is accessed right here, and the assembly down here is not being touched and tampered with. You don't need to touch any of that, it works, don't worry about it. Anything happens, call me. I'll be there. And you're welcome to take it apart if you need to, but that thing is solid. And uh, that's about it. So, 
the barrel, like I was saying, this barrel here is you're gonna need an extender to get this set up. I don't really sell this setup on my site. Why? Because these pieces here are hard to find, and the value of the, this is like a, a hundred dollar piece in itself to get the, the adapter and all that stuff. So you're welcome to do it by yourself. You're welcome to do it after you bought, purchased the gun and all that stuff. But I'm not. I'm probably not gonna be selling with my site. We have an option coming out later uh, where we're making some 3D printed suppressors, Osprey style suppressors, and uh, it'll make it a whole lot easier. But this look right here with this, uh, you're welcome to replicate it, and that's how you do it. All right, so yeah, so that's disassembly. Uh, putting it back together. Uh, good luck, Sagna. <laughs> In part two, I'll show you how to put it back together. Thanks.